Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. It is unanimously agreed that to combat terrorism, militancy, religion mongering, racism, extremism, ill politics, fanatism, riot prone mob, and rumor, and etc., it is necessary to have strong counter narratives for ideological war against it, along with the implementation of forces. Therefore, from the past 25 years, we have been bringing forward a timely, conclusive, irrefutable and true narrative of real Islam. Here today, we would like to raise the proposals once again. We strongly urge the policymakers of the country to consider these proposals seriously for the sake of our nation and our country. First of all, I would like to inform you that Hizbut Tawhid is a non-political movement dedicated to the welfare of humanity, committed to respect and abide by the existing law. The activists of this movement are working selflessly for the betterment of the people of this country irrespective of their race, religion and color. Spreading our ideology is one hand our right to freedom of religion, on the other hand our fundamental constitutional right to freedom of expression, freedom of speech and basic human rights. Therefore, we call upon the government to take effective measures to stop any kind of propaganda or physical attack or violence against us in any attempt to obstruct our peaceful movement. Secondly, to prevent the religion mongers from using the religious and sensitive places like was mahfils and position of imams to make false statements against his Tawhid, mosque or religion person should make a false statement against his Tawhid, deliberately misinterpreting quotes from the Quran and Hadith and issuing a false fatwa, provoking sentiments of common religious people with religious heretic to disrupt the law and order situation in the country, we request the law enforcing agencies intelligence agencies and policy makers of our country to take appropriate measures to prevent degradation of the law and order situation. I urge the government to bring those to justice for genocidal crimes who have used the religious places in the past to spread propaganda, threaten, insult and incite the people. We demand to identify and trace out the miscreants and bring them to justice under the digital law who, using real or fake IDs on social media such as Facebook, YouTube, etc. to create false and misleading content online and spreading hate speech, giving murder threats, creating rumors, spread fake information because they are constantly making death threats and even threatening suicide attacks to the leader of Hezbut Tawhid. Our leaders of different levels and our members, we are living under great insecurity. In these circumstances, we demand to ensure the safety of our life and property. Fourthly, on March 14th, 2016, at Shunaimuri in Noakhali district, the culprits who spread false rumors and killed two innocent members of the Hizbut Tawhid, who looted our houses, set the mosque on fire which was under construction, wounded hundreds of our members, those mastermind religion mongers, terrorists are still wandering in the open daylight. I demand the arrest of these criminals and brought to justice and ensure speedy trial. Next on women's rights issue, we want to say that half of the population of this country are women. Leaving these women behind by misinterpretation of the practice of hijab in Islam means keeping the nation paralyzed. In these circumstances, it is impossible to build a strong nation and achieve holistic progress by preventing half the population who are women from contributing to national development. The Messenger of Allah ensured the women of his time to participate in all areas of social and national life. 
The combined efforts of both men and women have enabled the nation to rise on the highway of development. We urge the women of Hezbollah Tawheed to participate alongside men according to the teachings of the Messenger of Allah in this ideological struggle in times of the nation's dire crisis. They are working relentlessly to raise public awareness against terrorism, militancy, religion mongering, racism, women oppression, drugs, etc., staying within the limits of Sharia. But the perverted religious lecturers use hate speeches and offensive languages to slander and give illegal fatwas against them in their lectures at Waz Mahfil and in social media. In that case, the women members of our movement are being harassed, abused, threatened and humiliated in public by the fanatic followers. Being the citizen of an independent sovereign Bangladesh, we strongly demand to ensure a positive environment for the women of Hezbollah Tawheed to freely express their faith and participate in all activities including national, social and cultural activities. Again, some Islamophobic media have carried out deliberately fabricated lies against the Hezbollah Tawheed as independent television had made horrific false episodes against Hezbollah Tawheed in their Talash program, giving millions of people the horrifying false and misleading idea. As a result, this genuine movement faced many harassments. The baseless and purposeful propaganda of Talash is also largely responsible for the brutal killings that took place in Noakhali in 2016. Also in the last 25 years, thousands of fabricated lies have been written against us by some Islamophobic newspapers which as a result put our lives in danger. Therefore, to establish the rule of law, such program producers and yellow journalists and editors must be held accountable and bring to justice those electronic, print and online media that run unprecedented propaganda against us, giving negative perceptions about Hezbollah Tawheed in people's minds. As a result of the combined propaganda of religion mongers and biased media, they were able to create a negative perception among the general people as among many of the policy makers and administrations of our country about Hezbollah Tawheed. Because of this, we have been subjected to administrative harassment many, many times. Our members were brutally tortured after being taken to the police station. So far, more than 500 false cases have been filed against us, which have been found fabricated untrue in the investigations from police and law enforcement agencies. The investigation reports of the various wing of the police department submitted to the court have shown that Hezbollah Tawheed is a movement that has not violated any law in the past 25 years. After our 25 long, tireless years of struggle and sacrifice of our lives for establishment of the truth, we want to say that 25 years is a long time to know about a movement in this age of advanced science and technology. We do not have any secret activities, plus all our materials, books, booklets, CDs, videos, lectures, website, Facebook page, YouTube channel to know about Hezbollah Tawhid are all within your reach. We also have offices in most of the districts. Therefore, anyone should know clearly about Hezbollah Tawhid, especially administration, media, government, courts, civil society, scholars, all those in responsible positions of society will be completely free from misinformation and negative perceptions. It is our sincere request to all concerned, our earnest request. Our slogans, one nation, one race, united Bangladesh. The essence of all religions, humanity above all. All religions main soul, humanity above all. All must be united, religion mongers must prevent. The root of militancy, 
will not be allowed in Bangladesh. Lastly, I, I would like to say that we urge and we hope that one day the entire mankind under the sovereignty of Allah that we believe and we will obey no one except Allah in every sphere of our life. We dream of that day, we are striving and we are struggling to all our levels to, and hope that Allah will be with us, the Lord will help us and achieve the goal that we are striving for. Thank you all for having the patience to listen to me. Thank you all. Allah Hafiz.